What's up guys? Uh, on this video um, we are going to do, and this was uh, suggested by my friend William, so thank you William for the suggestion, I think it's great. We are going to do an in-depth teardown of the uh, cup system SVA 510 and the uh, the flat SVA 510 that's used uh, between the Ardenmont Evos, the SVAs, and then I just found out apparently the Lucos uses them as well. So if you have any of these and you're kind of curious how the 510 system actually works, um, we'll disassemble them all and take them apart. Uh, thankfully I'll have one non squawking mod here to enjoy uh, while we're doing this so that I can vape. Um, so I, there's, there's no point in really mashing about with it. Let's just uh, cut down to the table. Alright, so let's attempt the, uh, the cup breakdown. Let's start with the uh, the Art and Mod Evo right here. Um, I'm gonna have a quick vape on it before I tear it apart. Look at the clouds. So, the first step in this guy is going to be take it apart, take the battery out, take everything off. So now our bottle's out, everything's out, everything's good. Pop the Addy off. We talked in the last video a little bit about the, uh, the, the removable cup system of the Evo. This removable cup system right here. So we're going to take this guy off. Like I said, I tighten them pretty tight. I have uh, rubber pliers that I will stick on. Just one little tiny turn, and now we're off. Now remember that this raised SVA cup holds multiple cups. It takes the 16 millimeter or the 18 millimeter, a 22 and a 14 which can be found in this bag. So now we have this torn down and I let's see if I can get the pin in focus inside of here. So there's your squonk pin slash internal segment of the Evo and I know it's a little bit hard to see because it's inside there but it's okay we're gonna take that out. So these old cups use a uh, hex bit, and I don't for the life of me remember the size. Let's try this one. There we go. So these are all reverse threaded. So you're going to turn like you would tighten anything else to take it out. Oh, there we go. So here we have the first part of our squonk pin. Now we can also grab onto here very carefully and sorry it looks like that had to be done off camera. It just doesn't look like there isn't really another way to do it. Um, so this is the section that I was talking about. This is the outer 510 assembly. It also just screws right in. And we'll go over that when we put it all back together. Here we go. Now I should be able to get in here. And unscrew this piece. Which is not reverse threaded, by the way. But it is a little bit of a pain to get in and out. All this stuff has so many threads. There is your squonk pin. So now, all that is left in this case is an empty hole pretty much for the fitting. So this is pretty much your entire Squonking 510. You have this little pin here, the adjustable pin that sits on top of it, that's reverse threaded in, and then the outer body, which screws into the outside. So now because you didn't necessarily get to see me take it all apart, I will put it all together. This top plate can be removed if you have an older uh, Evo. Some of them had aluminum plates, top and bottom. 
if you take the assembly apart you can pop this top plate off and put on one of the stainless steel ones on the new ones so let's uh let's go ahead and put this guy back together now that I've shown you the full breakdown now the reason why I'm showing you this breakdown is because on occasion uh, I have accidentally taken out one pin um, and I know that a few people who have accidentally taken out more than one pin they've accidentally taken out uh, basically the entire top assembly when trying to get their removable adjustment screw in we now have a squonk pin back in there and you can see that pin right up in there now we can put on this outer ring again this is not something that I recommend doing unless it happens to you because it is quite the pain in the ass but I'm gonna try to tighten this down pretty bastard tight to make sure that doesn't happen so there we go that's tightened back down now we can put our reverse threaded pin back in now this is the one that you're going to use to adjust for the height of the atomizer 510 to basically line up your Addy where you want it. And that's started. I prefer to rotate the mod more than I do to rotate the, uh, the piece here. So again, like I was saying earlier, this is probably one of the most most complex 510s that I've ever used. That being said, because of that, it's super adjustable. I'm going to pop my battery back in, remember, upside down. Just so that I can start to line up my Addy now. I'm really picky about where my air hole is. And I knew that this was going to be a process when I start it again. Because now I have to get it back to that perfect spot where my Addy fires and the air holes where I want it. And that's not it. Shit. And I just half unscrewed the Addy too. Lovely. I'll tell you what, we'll get this back up and functioning and then we will return. Uh, please enjoy this uh, non-sponsored commercial break. Alright, so the Addy is back on, the 510 is back together, and as you can see it is producing vapor. So we've got everything back together, now we can close it up, put on our lids, and that is a full teardown of the uh, SVA slash Artenmont slash Lucos um, raised 510 interchangeable cup system. All right, so now we're going to do the SVA 510. And here I have a broken down SVA, and you'll see that this one's very simple. So I'm actually not going to tear this one apart because I don't really have to because we already did all that with the uh, raised cup SVA. This is just one simplification of that process. This ring here sits flush. This O-ring comes out. If you have a 22 millimeter and want a 22 millimeter, take out the O-ring, pop on this piece. It sits down in the little O-ring hole. Boom. If you have a 14 millimeter, pop it on there, like so. Screw down your Addy. Boom. So the inside of this guy, let's get you a nice close up because it's about the same 510, so you'll actually get to see it really good on here compared to. Uh, on the uh, Artin mod, which is pretty well hidden. So there we go. There is our 510. Now again, there are two pins inside. One that will unscrew this 510 pin here. And one that is adjustable. As you can see, that one's adjustable with a flathead instead of an Allen key on the new ones though. So that's really nice. You can take out both pieces, set up everything, adjust it the way that you want. Screw down your Addy and it sits flush instead of on a raised cup. So that was a tutorial of the SVA Artin Mod and Lucos 510 system, both the raised cup and the flush cup. 
Um, I know I didn't go into as much detail on the flush cup, but honestly the, the raised cup has a few more pieces and uh, the, the flush cup is pretty easy to figure out once you see one of these torn apart. Um, so hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I'm, I'm fond of both of these 510s. I really like them a lot. Uh, I think that they were a big step uh, forward for squonking and probably another one of the things that made me really enjoy um, staying in the squonking thing is, is having a good adjustable solid 510 um, and I'm really happy that several of the modders are using this 510 and that it's it's kind of an open shared thing amongst much of the scene uh, I may have missed a few mods that use it if I did I apologize um, I really only have experience with a few of these mods uh, so feel free to let me know and because I forgot to say it in the video the uh, the size that I use for the little hex key is a 3 32nd to uh, to get the uh, raise cup adjustment piece off enjoy